We're out here today at the Whitetail and Scratch property. We're finally getting the logging operation underway. Um, it's been a couple years in the making and we really wanted to thicken up this side of the property. I mean, big open canopies, hardwoods. You'll see a lot of oaks and walnuts coming out here today and a lot of other hardwoods too, elm and, and some things. So the goal is to get sunlight on the ground. We're leaving all the tops for habitat and you know, in return, getting a little bit of cash out of the deal, which then we can mostly put right back into habitat work. Everything's all about wildlife, habitat, improving you know, the whole system we have in place or are working on as a goal here at Whitetails from Scratch. And this is a big part of it. We're just really excited to finally have this process underway. So when buying a property, it's always good to, you know, have a good walk through and understand what types of trees you have on the property. You know, this section of property, when we first bought it, we were aware that there was some good black walnut out here, um, some different plantings of, you know, hand planted trees and some wild tree sections. So we knew that there was going to be a return down the road. We're starting that process now, probably taking out 30 or 40. And then in 10, 15 years, there's going to be another harvest. So. Part of the process too is keeping the smaller trees or some of the more high value trees that are younger out on the property, let them grow and really maximize that value and then come back and be able to harvest again in 10 years and keep that process going. We're not out here just high grade cutting and taking all the most valuable trees out. There's a long-term process because, you know, potentially this property will be in our families for years to come or generations to come and we want to make sure we do it right. But your best timber trees are trees that you want to walk up to and can't hardly get your hands around before they really become saw timber that you can actually get some lumber out of. You know, because you got to square that on the mill each side, and by that time, then you got to get into the boards. That's where you get your lumber before you get to the heart. So it takes a certain size tree to even make good lumber. Take that one. We're out here now, we're uh, just marking some of these big trees, but making sure that we have enough to replace them, some of the younger oaks coming in. These are all oaks that we're marking now, some blacks and a couple burrs. So really just opening up the sky, but trying to be real cautious and not overdo it. So it was real apparent over the last couple seasons hunting this property that we would see deer, you know, two, 300 yards away. We would walk into a field or into the edge of the woods and the deer would just scatter. They would run away. There's no undergrowth in this uh, section of woods right here. So that was a key thing is we need more food on the ground, more screening. And it was apparent that this section of woods, it was almost unhuntable strategy wise and just didn't hold enough deer and enough wildlife because the habitat was poor. So. We noticed that and a big part of that is, you know, getting sun to the ground. So the logging operation, a secondary cutting will happen with the AWS team. We'll probably do a little bit of hinge cutting, a little bit of clear cutting, thicken it up even more. And by, you know, in two, three years time, this place is gonna be a wildlife Mecca. So the process of logging really comes down to, you know, what the timber buyer or the cutter, the loggers are actually willing to take because you know, the market, it's not that great for many different species of trees, but certain ones, you know, it makes more sense to have a, a team out here 
to get the volume, to get the return on that investment of time and effort. But also there's the habitat strategy. And take into account, you know, this is a great area for turkeys to roost. So we don't want to remove all the big trees they're roosting in. So maybe we select a couple that are worth, you know, that have a value to the loggers, but also keep the ones that have value to the turkeys, you know, the roost and reseeding. So enough acorns to then get that plant back into the ground. So as we walk and uh, mark trees, we're not just marking every tree and taking all the high value trees out. Um, it's a strategy and a slow process where we, we want to make sure we do it right. So this spot right here, we just marked a bunch of really big black oak. But right next to it, we see a, a nice group of, you know, six, seven, eight younger generation, what we think are the bur oak, the white oak side. Um, so if we take a bunch of the big ones out, these are going to then become the most dominant tree. And we're really looking for nice younger stands like this. So we feel comfortable taking out, you know, some of the bigger mature trees without destroying the habitat in the future. So it's mid-January, we began this process right after the season closed. Our season in Minnesota, deer hunting season, ends right at the end of the year, right at the end of the December. So we were walking this section of woods with the loggers um, that first week of January. And that's actually when we found Peyton, our number one target buck dad, when we were marking trees. So um, it just goes to show how important this process is. Um, if we would have done this a couple years ago and really improved the habitat, you know, that outcome may, may have been different. He may still be alive with uh, more food and more value to him on the property. But yeah, we're doing this after the season, so we're not ruining hunting opportunities. Um, it's a great time of the year for loggers to actually work on the ground and not scar it up too much because the ground is frozen solid. And um, it's just, it's an easy process for them to drag these trees out, uh, cut trees, see up in the canopies, it's a little bit more safe too. So um, off season is a great time to, to come out and cut and do all the habitat work.